clearly not of that generation. So I really wouldn't know. I, I mean, it's just, this is how people glue themselves together now. The world is ludicrously fast and this is one way of letting everybody know. So unsurprisingly, the next generation utilize it as a means of like, you know, and, and then it's per perceived by lots of older, middle-aged, middle-class journalists as being like cool and somehow exciting. It's like everyone's desperate for something new to write about, so it gains attention. It really is pretty unremarkable, isn't it? People just put words down or send a photo in or something. Uh, I, I don't even know how all these things work. It does, it, the idea of communicating more than I currently do is just uh, not really on my radar. I, 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 I'm looking for a world where there's less communication. I, I'm just not sure how far the empowerment goes. Um, it's still about attracting attention, albeit in a different way. And those people with the greatest influence will get the most attention. And the odd story will crop up, which will sort of... There's a, the new thing, you know, something new that no one's heard of before, that they pass around, like, really fast. That's what happened with White Ladder. It was something new, and it got passed about. Uh, so, so that will happen to the odd thing, but... I don't see a sort of radical new way of selling music that, that favours the smaller producer kind of thing. It, it just, you know, uh, people like iTunes are desperately trying to keep their page sort of free from like being just bought out, period, by every, all the interested parties. So things take place in a slightly more sort of convoluted way. You give them loads of free stuff and hours and hours of your time and they'll semi-guarantee that you'll get some good coverage or something on their, their front page. You, that's how it works, sort of thing. It's, like you, it's sort of gifting rather than just naked financial ruthless power seizing their front page. Like, Here's loads of money. We want this artist on the front for a month. because uh, So everyone will know every time they click on, bang, oh, they've got a new record out. So I... But this stuff will eventually prevail, I dare say. To say I'm not a fan of the music industry is like, I've spent enough money with it and enough time persevering with it. It's, it's obviously been, it's been born of, it's, 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 it was very greedy and it's basically a history of ripping people off is how it made so much money. And then they developed the CD and went, hey, hey, this is good, we can sell all the same music again in a different format, and they thought, this is the future. And at that point, they dropped the ball completely and utterly. They started to give things away on promotional sort of... And the gross sort of incompetence of the whole thing is laughable, really. Um, this is a very cold... It's a cold-hearted digital world that doesn't seem to care much for music or sort of nurturing it, because there's infinitesimal reward for zillions of hits on YouTube or whatever. So it just doesn't work as a formula. Music doesn't come for free. Strangely enough, people spend hundreds of thousands of pounds and many years producing things. It's like, that's why it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs>